Hello. Hi. And welcome to Cliff Alerts. Today we're going to be talking about Own Network's reality-based TV series. Put a ring on it. Season three, ep seven, right? And today we'll be focusing on Kenneth and shorty yeah. and we would like to thank you for subscribing thank you for sending your comments for liking for sharing we so appreciate you yeah absolutely. but let's get into the situation with Ken kenneth and shorty yeah the episode began with kenneth welcoming to his his place tori. His, oh, yeah his older brother tori yeah yeah and they uh, kind of chopped it up a little bit about what's going on he needed to do that to get an older brother's perspective on his interactions with shorty and uh, obviously they had talked and and kenneth's not doing too well doing too good within the context things are not good with the relationship that they're going through right now and the process that they're going through to kind of uh, in an effort to determine what they're going to do moving forward right and tori indicates that shorty does not see her faults or or acknowledge that she has some serious flaws one of which is that when she and Kenneth has had arguments in the past Shorty would call and drag Kenneth down Tori revealed and that didn't he? Tori revealed that to Kenneth mm -hmm. and I'm not sure if Kenneth knew about that no it didn't seem like he did did he? I'm not sure if, if he that, knew about if that, that if that's accurate that is a horrible move you don't stop like that that's uh, wrong. That's it's, wrong. It's, it's, oh, on so many different levels. Yes, it is. It is just wrong. And, and she and you're not trying to tell me she doesn't know better. Than and and like she that. got to know better because got she's to. a grown woman and right. she's she, Who's you know, nine years older than he is, right? So she she must know that whatever is in the house, they got to handle it together. Absolutely. Because she claims that he's immature, but is is that maturity calling the the duty dealing with mom and complaining? about him to his mother that's not that's not but your behavior it didn't make a good impression on tori did it no it did not okay because he referenced that he, he how he didn't respect that because he got in kenneth's ear and told him that if he's not being heard or if he's not he thinks kenneth is her puppet and that he really needs to speak up for himself absolutely shorty has some issues but she fe keeps focusing on Kenneth and not herself. It's almost like she's trying to punish him for uh, for her, the disappointment that she feels as it relates to any failures that or perceived failures that have led them to this point in their relationship. Well, I mean, she got with him. She stayed with him. That she made long. a conscious decision so to do, do so. Now, she, the bitterness of who she is is really coming out. Absolutely. And what she has been doing to... to push this relationship to the point where it is right now right because uh, because she really doesn't honor and respect uh kenneth at all no um, she she's said on, on on a number of different occasions that she feels like she is out of his, his league. league and any woman telling a man that she's sleeping with hey bro you're out of my league then you really got well, I'm out question. of your league, brother. Yeah, yeah. You really yeah. got a question. Why am I here? Yeah, and you got to say. But well, she also seems doing? intent on humiliating yes. him at, on and the way out the door. And that's, that's what I don't the like. point. I I have a problem with. Yeah, I don't like she, that either. She seems so intentional about disparaging towards him. Absolutely about dragging him. Right. Um. Uh. Because uh, of a decision she made to be with him. Right. No. And uh -uh. If, if it was so toxic, why has she asked him to leave? Right, exactly. And why not going through not all of this leave? drama on, on a reality-based TV show. I find it uh, curious that she would say, um, hey, last week she was saying, hey, hey if you don't want to deal with me, you can go go somewhere else. Isn't it her house? Right. She, she could tell him, hey, just... Pack his stuff. Right, and, and we'll go. just we'll, it's over. right. We'll just we'll so just part she ways. Has, part she has some sort of responsibility in doing that. If she's a, as unhappy as no she says, no question she about is. it. No question about it. There is culpability on so, her end of so this. So when she turns that rage and vexation of spirit on and disappointment on her, on him rather, it comes out abusive. It comes out as if she's bashing him. It comes out as if she wants to publicly humiliate him and diminish who he is as a man. I think ab abusive is the exact adjective to describe her behavior. I, I really do. So, and that's unfortunate. Yeah. So we see Shorty uh, meeting with her mom. With her mom. Right. 
And uh, one thing she told the mom is that she kicked Kenneth out so they can have some again some a slight one little one, dig one again. time. She slides those digs in so neatly. You know what I mean? Right. She, she has a lot of practice doing that. Yeah, and it's clear that she does not consider her man of three years in the form of Kenneth as her equal. No, she does not. She talks to the mom and she asks them, what does the mother think about their relationship? The mom said, okay, Kenneth is nice. She thinks he's a nice dude. However, what you have told me about his maturity level, about his, you guys trying to buy a house and it falling through and you giving him homework to do for a year and he did not do anything about it. Um, I find that stunning. Well, apparently she views him not a, not as an equal, but uh, as a as an inferior, i.e., a student that she's got to teach how to do certain things, uh, i.e., that part of it, that that financial part of it, and that's part of what's seemingly pissing her off. But if if he is pissing her off at that level that she's telling her family and her more than likely her friends that he is not financially stable, that he is not, he is not, he is not, he is not. At some point, you got to turn to her and ask her, well, why are you still, why here? Are you still dealing with and, us? And, 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 and in a real way, Kenneth did that an episode or two prior to this right. time. Yeah, I don't recall Shorty ever responding to his, his question to her. You know, well, what's keeping you here? I, obviously, I'm doing something that's keeping you here. Right. So... You know, is she being uh, honest and, and genuine with herself? Well, at the end of it, her mom said that if a man hasn't changed his behavior, uh, he more than likely won't. And that basically guides you to where you need to go. I am sure that Shorty has been dragging Kenneth for a while. I am sure that, uh, that Shorty has made her opinions known to her friends. If she's calling his mother, the doorman probably knows that she thinks Kenneth is a scrub. I wonder what uh, Kenneth and Tori's mother thinks about what she did. What, that, what, that would be interesting to see, to I, hear the yeah, mother's point wonder, of view. Because we already, know, we, we already know what Tori thinks. Tori right. said he doesn't have a respect for what right. what the way she rolled uh, rolled on right. or made moves he said, like that. He, he thinks she's a red flag. Right, absolutely. And uh, it would be easy easy to understand why, that, why he would have that perspective. Right. Easy. So then we see Shorty on a date. And the more I look at Tavi, the more um, Tavi seems like he's a shorter version of, of Kenneth. Uh, I wondered if she did her due diligence to research or do a background check on Tavi since she's willing to go on another date with him because Tavi seems young and based on their conversation at the date, Shorty says she wants a responsible man. But she goes but back. She, she seems like she has a little addiction to the- but That type the, of man that she says she don't want. That she says she doesn't want. I so she's confused. I ain't trying to figure that one out either. Maybe y'all can help me. Because I don't know about you, but uh, Tavi doesn't have a grown woman's conversation that can hold any woman in my opinion. If you listen to the brother, he does not have a, a in-depth conversation. Wow. And I know they edit stuff, but if Tavi sits down and you guys are talking, how long you gonna stay until you start thinking about the, the grocery list? Well, let me, let me ask you this. Does it seem like in terms of what Shorty says she's getting from Kenna, in contrast and or comparison to what she says she's getting from or exp what we see she's getting from or apparently getting from Tavi, is it is it that vastly, vastly different or is it no, basically it's one and the same? It's one and the same. It's just a shorter version. Tavi is not not lining up or matching the dream and vision you said you want. That that you're not getting in the form of your current man right now in the form of Kenneth. So right. so if if Kenneth is not giving you that, okay, but Tavi is giving you the same thing or a version of the same thing that Kenneth is giving you, how why is it that you're reacting differently to the situation? Now, I think Shorty likes a man that she could push over. I think she couldn't do that with Hollywood. <laughs> That's why she kicked him because Hollywood has the means now. Mm -hmm. It's not like, you know, he broke. Yes. 
Hollywood got some some he got some, some ends. He yeah. got some ends. Right, right. And they're meeting and they're meeting long. Right, to cheddar. At yeah. this point. Yeah, 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 yeah. He got some sort of counseling under him so he knows what's toxic and or not. And he's older and too. He's, he may be He's a well, little older. I, he's a little older than, than Kenneth, isn't he? I would think so. But I think he, he is. I, I would think so. Yeah. So she is select. She says she wants something, and at one point she said uh, Hollywood was the person she uh, she prayed for, but yet and still she's now going out with another junior, who doesn't fit the bill for what she has prayed for. So it tells me <laughs> that this lady likes a man. Who she can put her foot on his neck. She can control and or manipulate right. and, until she gets finished playing with him and then toss him aside. Right. You, know what, you know what also bothers me about the, how she's moving with this? Um, that is the, the notion that she is also using a, 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 a forum, a public forum in which she's kind of accustomed to operating, i.e. public media, using this as a means of saying, okay, I'm out, y'all, but along the way, this is how I'm, I'm gonna, gonna I'm this is how I'm gonna move. I'm gonna castrate this dude right. this is how on I'm my way out. Uh, on my way out. And I'm door. gonna not do a full blown castration. I'm gonna nip, 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 nip. Right. Until, time, until, uh, until, until he bleeds out. Right. And I'm And like, that's that's what's disgusting in how Shorty is moving in this in this situation. It right makes here. her look bad. Yeah. Bad. And then Kenneth's response is an immature response. Yes. He gets drunk yes. and cuts cusses her out. Right. But but here's here's the thing though. Uh, he he mishandles his his response in in many ways. But I I understand the sentiment behind it because he's being like he understands at least on some level that he's being dragged. He understands that. But but pack his stuff. Right. Pack his stuff. And right. That doesn't mean out. he has. That's exactly he, right. It he doesn't mean family. he has got to tolerate it. He got family, and he's working. And he can set boundaries too, just like she Absolutely. can. Absolutely. So he can say, "Hey, look, I'm not going to do this because at at some point in time, you have to. I have to have some acknowledgement that you respect who I am." And enough to say, okay, we got to this point. Yeah, we have issues, but if you can't treat me a certain way, then that don't mean I got to tolerate it. Exactly. Yeah. And, yeah, and I agree. he's already, she's already telling him that you you have been replaced. Right, right. It throws him away, and I don't, I don't agree with that part of it. And, I, and that doesn't mean that that uh, Kenneth does not have any responsibility here. I think he does. But at the same time, if, if you're going to exit that scenario, then you try to do your best, especially as it relates to, you know, somebody that you claim to have, you know, have some kind of heartfelt connection with. You leave that person intact. She has been out in her mind, spiritually and psychologically from what? In her, her response to Dr. Nicole and, 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 and uh, when Dr. Nicole is addressing her and Kenneth, she's like... She's leaning away from him. And she's rolling her eyes. Rolling like, her eyes when he speaks. You know, right. And I'm like, I'm and, like you know and what? Dr. Is Nicole, all that necessary? And when she meets with the girl, she said, uh, Kenneth got to figure out that I am not his enemy. But that is an she's, indication of how they fight. Because next week, we're going to see that they fight in a horrible way. And right. Dr. Nicole was reminding them that you got to you gotta have disagreements and ups, uh, upsets in a way that you can come back to each other intact. You don't have to rip each other to threads yes. just to get your point of view over. Yes. You yes. have to leave something in them intact so you guys can come back together and keep it moving yeah but it doesn't seem like shorty uh, is interested in doing in, in in moving that way does. well that's all we have we want to thank you for um sitting with us and sharing your time with us and we wish you the best this day and the the days to come absolutely yo have a good one and we mean that yeah blessings always yeah bye bye don't tear down build up amen couldn't say it. i've said it better myself